Now let's go ahead and do a third example. Example three, we have f of xy is equal to, this time we'll do 4xy as our function, over the region bounded by y equals 0, y equals x, and y equals minus x plus 3. So let's go ahead and draw this region out and see what it is we're looking at. So y is equal to 0, that's the x-axis. y is equal to x, that is this line right here. y is equal to minus x plus 3, so let's go up 3. And let's go down that way at a 45 degree angle. So this is going to hit at 3. And let's go ahead and put a halfway mark here. This is actually going to be 3 halves because these have the same slope. So in this particular case, our region is right here, this triangle. We're going to be integrating this function over this particular triangle. Well, of course, you remember from first variable calculus, uh, sometimes regions have to be split up simply to make the integral a little bit easier to handle. In this particular case, I'm going to decide to save the uh, integration with respect to x last, the outside integral. Since that's the case, I'm going to actually split this into two regions. This region R, I'm going to split it up into R1 and R2. So I'm going to integrate up to here, and then I'm going to integrate up to there, and then I'm going to add those two together. And the reason I do that is because the upper function from here to here is different. Here it's 0 to x, here it's 0 to minus x plus 3, which is why I'm splitting it up. So let me erase this thing. So in this particular case, our integral over r is going to equal the integral over r1 plus the integral over r2, because the integrals are additive. That's exactly right. So let's go ahead and deal with the integral of, I'm going to move to the next page. So the integral over r1 is going to equal the integral from 0 to 3 halves. That's the first half. And the y value, let me draw my domain again real quickly so I have it here. It's going to be that and that. Okay. So the y value is going to go from 0 to x. And my function is 4xy dy dx. Okay. That's excuse me, equal to the integral from 0 to 3 halves of 2xy squared. I'm integrating with respect to y. I'm holding that constant, y squared over 2. The 2 and the 4 cancel, leaving me 2xy squared. And I'm evaluating that from 0 to x, dx. <clears throat> and that's going to equal, well, uh, 2 times the integral from 0 to 3 halves. When I put x in for here, it's x squared times x is x cubed. So it's x cubed dx. This is 0, so it goes away. And now that's going to equal 2 times x to the fourth over 4 evaluated from 0 to 3 halves. And when I go ahead and do that, I get 81 over 32. So that's the integral with respect to the first region. Now we'll do the integral over the second region, this region right here. So the integral over region 2 is equal to, now we're integrating from 3 halves to 3. So 3 halves to 3. And the y value is going to be 0 to minus x plus 3, because now the upper function is minus x plus 3. And again, our function is 4xy dy dx. Well, that's going to equal 3 halves to 3. <clears throat> it's going to be, again, 2xy squared evaluated from 0 to minus x plus 3. And when I put this in here, uh, let me see if I have enough room. No, I probably don't. So let me go ahead and come down here. The integral from 0 to, nope, I'm doing 3 halves to 3 now. Again, 
keep track of our numbers. From 3 halves to 3, it's going to be 2x times minus x plus 3 squared, because the 0 goes away, so I'm just putting this into that, dx, dx, let's, oh, crazy. Don't want these crazy lines all over the place. Okay, 0 dx. When I multiply this out, actually I'm going to multiply everything out here, so it's fine. We'll do 3 halves over 3. It's going to be 2x times x squared minus 6x plus 9 dx equals the integral from 3 halves to 3 of 2x cubed minus 12x squared plus 19x dx. And when I go ahead and evaluate that, I used mathematical software to evaluate that, I ended up with 243 over 32. Therefore, the integral of f over our original region r is equal to the 81 over 32, the integral over the first region, plus 243 over 32, the integral of the other region, equals 324 over 32. That's it. Okay. So in this particular case, I took this region and I divided it into two regions and I did two separate integrals. Uh, there is a way to actually do this as one integral by just reversing the order of integration, doing dx first and then doing the dy. And I'll go ahead and show you what that is. I won't do the integration, but I'll show you how to approach it. So let me draw the domain again. <clears throat> so we had that and we had this, okay? So this was 3, this was 0, we had 3 halves here, this was 3, this was, this was y equals x, or if I wrote it in terms of x, x equals y. Okay, this graph right here, that's the y equals minus x plus 3. If I write it in terms of x, it's x equals 3 minus y. Okay, so now I'm thinking about it this way. I'm going to do my final integration with respect to y, which means I'm going to go from 0 all the way up to 3. Well, in this particular case, there is no interference. The difference, it's as if I've turned this graph this way, the difference, this length right here, okay, that I'm going to be integrating this way, this length is the difference between this function and this function. So in this particular case, I can go ahead and take the difference between this function and this function and then integrate with respect to y this way. So the integral looks like this. Okay. The integral from 0 to, this is not 3, this is actually 3 halves. 0 to this value right here is 3 halves. Um, if you solve simultaneously, this is x is 3 halves, this is y is 3 halves. So this y value is 3 halves. So 0 to 3 halves, the integral, well, it's going to be, we want to keep this positive, so we're taking this function, this function, this is the lower, that's the upper, so let's go 3 minus y to y. 4xy, this time we're going to do dx dy. That's it. So you can do this as a single integral as long as you change your perspective. And if you're integrating finally along this direction, the first integration that you do, which is going to be this way, well, this difference always stays the, the same in the sense that it's always going to be a difference between this function and this function. And that's it. So the outer integral covers the entire region. I didn't actually have to break this up. But 
the way that I chose to do it, simply because I like doing x last, I had to break this region up into two. And the reason I broke it up into two is because the y value is actually different depending on which function I'm working with past this 3 halves mark. So that's it. That's our introduction to um, double integrals. Uh, thank you for joining us here at educator.com. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.